Hi, this is Primary School Made Easy and today we're going to be looking at rounding numbers to the nearest 10. Rounding to the nearest 10 means rounding to these numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. To decide whether to round up or down we look at the units digit. When the units digit is 1, 2, 3, or 4, we round down. When the units digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we round up. Let's look at some numbers between 10 and 20. So if we take 11 to 14, we can see that the units digits are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So all those numbers will round down. And if we take 15 to 19, we can see the units digits are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And all these numbers will round up. Let's see how we would round 29. Remember, if the units digit is 1, 2, 3 or 4, we round down. And if the units digit is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. So 29 has two tens and nine units. And it sits between 20 and 30. So we could round down to 20 or round up to 30. The units digit is 9. So that tells us that we will be rounding up to 30. 29 is nearer to 30 than 20 if we put it on the number line. What about 81? 8 tens and 1 unit. 81 lies between 80 and 90 on the number line so we can round down to 80 or up to 90. The units digit is a 1 and that tells us that we round down to 80. And if we look at 81 on the number line, we can see it's a lot closer to 80 than it is to 90. Sixty-three. Six tens and three units. Sixty-three sits between 60 and 70 on the number line. So we can round down to 60 or round up to 70. The units digit is 3, so that tells us we will be rounding down to 60. And if we put 63 on the number line, we can see it's closer to 60 than it is to 70. 57. 5 tens and 7 units sits between 50 and 60 on the number line, so we can round down to 50 or up to 60. The units digit is 7. And that tells us that we will be rounding up to 60. 57 is closer to 60 than it is to 50 on the number line. And 15. 1, 10 and 5 units sits between 10 and 20 on the number line. So we'll be either rounding down to 10 or up to 20. 5 units tells us that we round up to 20. Now if we look at 15 on the number line, it actually sits right in the middle. But whenever there's a 5, we always round up. Let's look at some bigger numbers and rounding them to the nearest 10. How about 763? Remember, if the units is 1, 2, 3 or 4, we round down, and if the units is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, we round up. So, 763. We're rounding to the nearest 10, so the hundreds will stay the same. The tens will be 6 or 7, it will round down to 60 or up to 70, and the units will be 0. So we can round down to 60 for the tens or up to 70. If we look at the units, the units is 3. 
and numbers one, two, three, and four always round down. So we will be rounding down to 60. So that tens becomes a six. 763 rounds to 760. What about 1,246? The thousands and the hundreds will stay the same. The tens is the one we're going to change. That will be four or five and the units will be a zero. So decide whether the tens is a four or a five. Whether we're going to round down to 40 or up to 50, we look at the units. The units is six, five, six, seven, eight, and nine always round up. So we'll be rounding up to 50. So we'll need a five in the tens column. There we go. 1,246 rounds to 1,250. 24.9. The tens, it will be a two or a three. The units will be a zero and the tenths will be a zero. So we're going to round down to 20 or up to 30. The units is four. So that tells us that we need to round down to 20. So the tens will become a two. Twenty-four point nine rounds to twenty. Seven hundred eighty-one point five. The hundreds will stay the same. The tens will be eight or nine. The units zero and the tenths zero. So we'll either be rounding down to eighty or up to ninety for the tens. The units is one, so that tells us we'll be rounding down. To 80, so the tens will become an eight, eight tens. 781.5 rounds to 780. Now, what about numbers with tens and units 95 to 99? When rounding to 10, where the tens and units are greater than 95, you effectively round into the next whole hundred. 95 rounds to 100. 99 rounds to 100, 97 rounds to 100. And if we take something like 596, we'll be rounding up to the next whole 100 after 500. So it sits between 590 and 600 and rounds to 600. 395 sits between 390 and 400 and rounds to 400. And 198 sits between 190 and 200 and rounds to 200. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.